In this tutorial, we're going to go on a quick tour of the Toonly interface. What you're looking at right now is the preview window. So I'm going to go ahead and close that, and we'll take a look at the main work area. It's broken down into several sections. Along the top, you have a link to your My Videos section, and buttons for Save, Export, Undo and Redo, your title, which you can edit, by the way, simply by clicking and typing, your preview button, your zoom in and out tools, and your account tool. Over to the left, this panel contains everything that will be going into your main video area. So you've got your preset scenes, backgrounds, characters, objects, text, and audios. On the right, you have a panel that is collapsible in case you want more workspace for your video. You'll notice that the scenes are stacked vertically and they're, they're labeled um, scene one, two, and three. In between each scene is your transition bar, so you can change how you have each scene move from one to another. Like the title, you can edit your scene names. So let's do that. You simply just click in and edit. You'll notice the icons. This one will duplicate your scene and the trash can will delete it. Confirm to delete. You can also delete your scenes down here by clicking an X on each of the tabs. So whichever one you want to delete, click the X and then confirm to delete. Finally, you can add new scenes right from the panel here by clicking add new scene here or here. Or if you go down to the timeline, click right here, add new scene. You can move your scenes by clicking on the dots and dragging them into position. You'll notice as I do that, the order down here changes as well. Likewise, you can reorder them by dragging the tabs. And let's delete scene four. Now, if you go down into the timeline area, you'll notice a few sections. You have your playback controls, then you have rows for your scenes, your music, and voiceover. The timeline itself is measured in one second increments. So in this case, I have a four second scene. My classroom scene is about eight seconds. My closing scene is about six and a half seconds. You can extend the duration of your scenes by dragging different elements to make them longer or you can shorten them by dragging them the other way and reducing how long they appear. The scene row is stacked of several rows with each row representing the different assets of the scene. So for example, these two green bars represent our characters. The periwinkle bar is our Toonly logo, and then the brown bar is our school background. These are all labeled so you can quickly see which elements they represent. You can also zoom in and out on your timeline. Depending on the length of it, you may want to adjust the view. And you can also collapse the view of your scene in the timeline. If you have a lot of elements, it can get very busy looking down there. And this just simplifies the look a little, makes it a little easier to work with. You can see your, your music and voiceover a little bit better if you collapse this scene. And that's pretty much it for the Toonly Interface Tour. Thanks for watching.